This free step-by-step -step video comes to you directly from Haynes, creators of the world's best repair manuals. Fix your car or truck the right way with our accurate and reliable information at your side. You can complete more than 200 jobs on this vehicle when you purchase the complete online manual at Haynes.com. Oxygen O2 sensor replacement. Warning, be careful not to burn yourself during the following procedure. Note, because they are installed in the exhaust manifold or pipe which contracts when cool, the oxygen sensors may be very difficult to loosen when the engine is cold. Rather than risk damage to the sensors, start and run the engine for a minute or two, then shut it off. Note, this model vehicle has two oxygen sensors, an upstream and downstream sensor. Upstream refers to the sensor before the catalytic converter and is also referred to as the air fuel ratio sensor, bank 1, sensor 1. Downstream refers to the sensor after the catalytic converter and is also referred to as the heated oxygen sensor, bank 1, sensor 2. Open the door and pull the hood release lever located just above the driver's side kick panel. Slide the hood safety latch to the left, then raise the hood upwards. Release the hood prop rod from the clip on the right side of the engine compartment and place the prop rod into its slot in the hood. Loosen the cable clamp nut and then disconnect the cable from the negative terminal of the battery. Replacing the upstream oxygen sensor. Note, the cooling system hoses have been disconnected for video clarity so you can view the upstream oxygen sensor. You should not have to disconnect them to replace the oxygen sensor. Locate the sensor electrical connector under the radiator hose. Using a small screwdriver, disconnect the electrical connector. Spray some penetrating oil close to the sensor threads and allow it to soak in before loosening. Unscrew and remove the oxygen sensor. Note that it is recommended to use a specialized oxygen sensor socket when breaking the sensor loose to avoid rounding off the hex fitting. New sensors will already have anti-seize pre-applied to the threads. If you are reinstalling the old one, add a dab of anti-seize compound to the threads of the sensor before installing it. Install the sensor and tighten it securely. Connect the sensor electrical connector and secure the wiring harness onto any retaining clips. Replacing the downstream oxygen sensor. Open the door and apply the handbrake. Chalk the rear wheels to prevent the vehicle from rolling. Place a floor jack under the reinforced area of the rocker panel seam. Raise the front of the vehicle and then support it with a jack stand placed under the rocker panel seam. On the opposite side, place a floor jack under one side of the body just in front of the notched area of the rocker panel flange, then support it with a jack stand placed in the notched area. Locate the sensor, then trace the wiring harness to the electrical connector. Free the wiring harness from any retaining clips, then disconnect the electrical connector. At first glance, it may look possible to remove the downstream sensor at this stage. However, there may be a lack of wrenching room to allow for loosening. If this is the case, the section of exhaust pipe will have to be removed. Spray penetrating lubricant into the bolt threads to help with removing the bolts. Remove the front exhaust section mounting bolts and remove the exhaust pipe. Place the exhaust pipe on a bench. If the sensor is especially hard to unscrew, spray some penetrating oil close to the sensor threads and allow it to soak in before loosening. Unscrew and remove the oxygen sensor. Note that it is recommended to use a specialized oxygen sensor socket when breaking the sensor loose to avoid rounding off the hex fitting with the wrench due to the tight clearances. New sensors will already have anti-seize compound pre-applied to the thread. If you are reinstalling the old one, add a dab of anti-seize to the threads of the sensor before installing it. Install the sensor and tighten to the specified torque setting. Clean the exhaust pipe mounting flanges and lubricate the mounting bolts to prevent cross-threading. Reinstall the exhaust pipe into the vehicle and start all the mounting bolts by hand. Tighten the exhaust pipe mounting bolts securely.
Connect the sensor electrical connector and secure the wiring harness into any retaining clips. Raise one side of the vehicle at a time, remove the jack stands, and lower the front of the vehicle to the ground. Reconnect the negative cable to the negative terminal of the battery and tighten the cable nut securely. Note, when the battery is disconnected and reconnected, the vehicle may experience abnormal driving symptoms while the computer relearns its adaptive strategy. The vehicle may need to be driven 10 miles or more to regain smooth operation. Certain other convenience functions may need to be reprogrammed as well.